What does that Hi, mean? I'm Emery Miller, and I'm a freelance reporter for Kensington Media and PHC. I'm here with Morgan Cromer. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. So we're going to get on with some questions. Oh, boy. So, what are some of the good and bad experiences becoming an open writer? Whew, uh, well, good news. I never was a non-pro writer, so I didn't have to worry about becoming an open writer. Uh, so that was easy. No, so I've been doing it for a long time. Not, don't tell them how long. Uh, but no, I think the good is, um, I mean, just the whole industry, right? We have such a great industry with everybody and getting to know all you guys. Uh, but we have such a great way to make a living, probably, is is what I would say with that. The bad is, uh, gosh, there's a lot of down days, right? Yeah. I mean, bad a, lot, a, lot, a lot of bad cows, a lot of tough stuff, but uh, yeah. but it's oh, it's overall good. It's a great way to make yeah. a living. All right. What is the most annoying thing a horse does when you're working or training them? Ooh, <laughs> I have this whole pet peeve about people that let their horses touch them all the time. Ooh. Like if they're like right in their it's face. Like nipping. It's like, like especially Ken Schultz. Oh, yeah. I mean, not to name names, but... I hope he doesn't see this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are some tips you would give young female riders from one of the best female riders? Ooh, um, I would have to say um, just to be confident. That's you know, cool. that you can you can do it and there's, there's no stopping, you know, yeah. anybody. I mean, depending upon, you know, from the time you're young, you need to be confident and it's the hardest thing, right? Yeah. Especially as a girl sometimes. What is your fave show to go to and why? Oh, the Futurity. Yeah. The Futurity? Oh yeah, no <laughs> questions. Uh, love showing in the Will Rogers and um, I obviously love seeing what our three-year-olds do, right? Yeah, love three-year-olds. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't even know that yet. You're gonna be scared, trust yes. me. Yes, yeah. ugh. ugh, bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> Who inspired your career to train horses? Whoa, so many. Um, I guess from the start would have been my mom. Mom. Um, and then as, you know, growing up, I had so many people that I looked up to. Um, and went to work for Russ Westfall when I was 17. Oh, wow. So that was scary. <laughs> and then, um, you know, so I guess, you know, as a showman, um, probably never told her this, but I really looked up to Janet Westfall when, you know, I went to work for Russ. She, an awesome showman oh. but um, from horse trainer wise you know all over the board depending if you're talking about yes. training horses showing horses but yeah, you same. know everybody knows that I idolize Matt Gaines so <laughs> same to give it. yeah same <laughs> all of you <laughs> what is one of your favorite studs that you've ever seen show is this where I'm supposed to say hit the flow <laughs> I don't care okay Whew. that was a close one uh, one of my favorite studs to watch show um, I'm gonna go back and say one of my favorites was C.D. Royal, C.D. Uh, Royal, because I worked for Russ when he trained him, and so that one was really special to me, and have rode a lot of horses out of him. But um, probably now I would say that uh, I always love to watch Austin show highbrow C.D. Yeah. He was one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm Emery Miller, and this video is sponsored by Hit the Flow, standing at Brazos Valley Stallion Station. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Woo! Breathe. You all right? No. Good? <laughs> okay. Um, well, she's a really great horse trainer, and I want to be a horse trainer when I grow up, and I look up to her a lot, and yeah, she's a really great trainer, and I, I love watching your show and everything. Thank you. That's awesome. Mm.